It has been said by many that true stealth is to be able to hide in plain sight. There are those that are good at it, and there are those that aren't. But never before have I seen such a master in video game stealth. I give you Octodad. Man, that is catchy. Is it just me? That's right, today's game is Octodad, Dadly is Catch, and in honor of such, I am wearing a suit. Because that, my dear children, is what people do when they are classy. Wait, I'm wearing a suit? That means I can- OBJECTION! There's a contradiction that witnesses testimony! But anyway, Octodad, Dadly is Catch, a video game with probably the best premise I've ever seen. You're an octopus. Go act like Forlim. Don't let Forlim find out you're octopus. Go! I never really looked into it until I saw it on sale on Steam, though. And I'm pretty sure there's a law that says if it's on sale on Steam, and you're slightly interested, you must buy it. So, let's start with the story. It starts with one of the most beautiful moments you will ever witness. A wedding! Yours, by the way. And we need to get ready. Starting with the hardest task ever. Opening. This. Mirror. Come on. Come on. No, I, I don't want to go that way. Come, come on. No. Why is this so hard? I mean, it's just... Putting it... Keying it. Come, come on. This is taking me. For peace sake. Come on. Come on. So, so close. Come, come. Right, almost. No. Anyway, we need to get ready, which is kind of hard because, as you saw, well, I have to describe the gameplay to explain. The best way to put it is to say you control each limb separately, except for your left arm. That's just kind of there. I wish I could have controlled like my right arm, but oh well. So as you would expect, this makes yourself a little harder to control. And by a little, I mean a lot. Which means that it's easy to break things. Did I say easy? I meant really easy. Also, I don't know how strong an octopus of this size is, but apparently I'm ranked. Like, look what I'm capable of. I will admit though, the entire game, I tried to act casual or fix things I've broken, but it never really worked out. On the control scheme alone, we have the ingredients of an incredibly fun, and destructive game. Unfortunately for us though, people in normal society don't appreciate, you know, rampant destruction on accident. And they may even find out that, uh, well, you're an octopus. Or you'll get in trouble for, you know, damage of public property. So to measure how much society has irritated us, we have, uh, er, uh, uh, this is my timey-wimey detector. Goes ding when there's stuff. Eh, close enough. I mean, it's what I called it. Basically, it fills up as you get discovered as an octopus or in trouble in general, and goes back down when you're successful at whatever you're trying to do. And that's a gameplay. It's very easy to describe, very simple to understand. But the game itself is a bit different. Speaking of which, I think I was getting married? Yep, our first off is navigating the church of... I think that's Cthulhu. Yep. I'm not an expert, but that is definitely Cthulhu. Anyway, we navigate through the church and get to the altar in order to... Who put bananas here? Yeah, anyway, in order to get Mayor Wei. Hang on. Scarlet is a human. Does she know that I'm an octopus? Skip however so many years in the future, we find ourselves with our wife and our two beautiful children. Tommy and Sarah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Human children. No deformities. Mutations, n nothing's wrong, just perfectly normal humans. Well, I mean, they do say some freaky things. I really hope Scarlet at least realizes I'm an octopus. If no one else does, she should. Oh, don't tell me she doesn't. We start with doing basic morning and family things, like pouring milk for my daughter, making coffee, and doing chores. Okay, just got, oh, let's just, no, no. And even chopping wood. And on the next episode of Octodad, I bring you Octodad's sword fighting. Oh, and dealing with this dude trying to- Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what's going on, what's going on? Um, that was scary. Oh, um, uh, don't worry, honey. It was nothing at all. Honest, I just almost died. Now for the next adventure, as we are spending a day with the kids. The Aquarium! Um, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, grocery shopping. Yeah. Look! Giant toys! A Minecraft stand! This place has got some cool stuff. Did I just steal her? Okay. 
Oh wait, hey, it's that guy again! Run, 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 run! Well, I almost died again, no big deal. Scarlet, you lied! We are going to the aquarium! Oh, well, wait, hey, they, where'd they go? <sighs> we need to find them. First up is Tommy. Wow, I wish all aquariums had stuff like this. This is actually really cool. And broken. And dangerous. <laughs> oh well, I'd still bring my kids here. Next up is Stacy, who went to the dark underwater area. Okay, this is simultaneously awesome and terrifying. Holy God, that is free. Uh, hey, this is pretty, I mean, interesting to say the, whoa. Whoa, 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 giant, giant fish that wants to kill us, giant fish that wants to kill us. Wow, 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 okay, okay. Um, what do I do? We gotta do something about this. Uh, wiring that's here for some reason in children. I think I can figure this out. Hey, I'm gonna shine some. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. That is too big of a change for me to believe it. And the puns are making me really, really suspicious. Oh, Skull, you wanna have a serious conversation? Sure, and as long as you're at the arcade, I might as well win you some fuzzy animals instead of you having a serious conversation with me. Wow, these games are actually- Whoa! It's a leak! Okay, um, wait a second. I won't drown. I'll be fine. Scarlet will! Okay, um, we need- we need- Okay, sure, I'll just waste these toys that I work so hard for you. That's cool, Scarlet. Couldn't find anything else to use, that's cool. Well, she went up to the top here. Might as well get the- What the- You would- How did I fall for that? What is your deal, man? You tried to kill me like three times already. Well, with the power of flashbacks, let's find out. As far as I can tell, I really did just climb on board. A ship. I decided to breathe air. Why? Well, just cause. I also just seem to be able to walk, talk to humans, and do whatever I want. Just cause. You know, I can't even get irritated at this game for lack of explanation just cause this is way too much fun. Anyway, that chef that I almost killed and probably swore vengeance just because I almost got him totally killed in the ocean just tried to kill me dead. I need to escape this shark. Whoa, shark, 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 shark! This part is kind of weird, actually, since it basically turns into a rhythm game with pretty scenery. But I mean, it was still kind of fun. Alright, now to get back to the family. But first to get around the employees and biologists by breaking things, blaming other people, wearing terrible disguises, and totally being stealthy. Due to my dream with Ezio Auditore de Frenzy, I'm able to successfully distract them and move onwards. Oops, I broke the thing. There they are! He must be holding them captive and trying to tell them the truth! I'll stop that by showing them the truth! Oh, and the place is on fire. I mean, no big deal. I'm surprised at the complete lack of freaking out by my children and my wife, though. I mean, they seem pretty calm. No one's screaming. Fire department isn't here. I mean, this, this dude tried to kill me. Openly. Multiple times. Uh, oh, well, no biggie. However, in the end, you forgive him. We find a moral to the story, and we all go merrily on our way without going to jail for property damage. And now that they know I'm an octopus, we can live our lives normally. Wait a second. If that is an octopus, then where did me and Stacy come from? Ha! I knew it, so it's not just me. And someone else noticed this. This is a serious problem. What's going on? <laughs> Don't you laugh this off. After all that, it's time for some movie style credits, which I will now wait for to the end to see if Octodad will appear in the next Avengers. Dang it. Well, that's the end, but there are also two very fun bonus episodes. Like one where I take Scott out for dinner, which involves things like bribing to get a table, having awkward table manners, work as a waiter and chef somehow on accident, and a few other silly things, like starting a fire and cooking. Or the other one where I'm a nurse and I do nursey things, like surgery, which is a great idea considering the premise of this game. There also is an area to download levels other people have made. I really didn't try it, but it looked kind of fun. There also is in every level three ties to find, which I'll admit I found in total maybe about four. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't really look too hard for them. Maybe it's because I was like so focused on each mission, which is surprising since normally I'm like looking for every single secret. There also is even time trials in this mode, which I also failed at miserably. Now, what do I think about Octodad itself, you ask? I never really had any problems or downsides with this game. I guess other than never using my left arm, I guess I didn't really like how I turned transparent so often. I mean, it made sense every time I did, 
I just felt like it was way too much. Now that I think about it, though, there really is one thing, and I think it's the biggest problem of Octodad. The game's too short. I mean, I love trying to act casual while I was destroying anything. I loved how awkward the controls were for just achieving the simplest of tasks. Plus, the characters and some of the things they said were the funniest things. The soundtrack, graphics, story, everything was, well, just a blast. However, while editing, I made a realization. To say that this game is too short is kind of unfair, because depending on where you explore, what or who you interact with, or what you destroy, a lot of different and cool things can happen, making each playthrough different and making the level seem so much more alive and real. I'll be honest to say I wasn't expecting very much out of like the 5 bucks I paid for this game, but in the end it was truly entertaining. And unfortunately, I have now become suspicious of all clumsy people, because they could be animals. Or Overall though, I really enjoyed this game. It was fun in so many different ways. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I always enjoy playing these weird little gems of games just because they don't look like much at first, but they turn out to be way more fun than you'd ever expect. But if you have a suggestion for a different game you want my take on, leave a comment here somewhere else, or you can check out some of the other games I did a review for. Or perhaps if you don't want to see me just scrambling footage together hope for the best, you can check out some of my Let's Fails, where I go completely through a video game, and probably mess up. A lot. Either way, I hope to see you guys later. <sighs> okay. Now I gotta turn off the computer. Forward. Forward. Close. Close. Get this. Get that. God.